What's up everybody? So we're back out in the shop with another Shop Talk Tuesday and have y'all ever heard about the Dragon Forge experience? So I'm gonna pop some stuff up on the screen right here. One of the cool things about the Dragon Forge experience is actually being able to forge out of the mouth of dragons. Now this right here is one of the heads for one of the dragons and it is absolutely one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I think it is just absolutely epic that Josh has been able to actually create some of the things that he's been able to do with this. And I do want to thank Josh and Lauren for actually flying me and a whole bunch of awesome people out to Frankenmuth. So basically we flew into Detroit and then we drove to Frankenmuth, Michigan, where they have the Bavarian blacksmith experience, which is really cool. Now, we went up there, we got to hang out, we got to forge a bunch of stuff. I got to make my first Warhammer, which is really awesome. Got to use a press, got to use all the different cool tools to be able to actually mess with that. And that was really, really, really awesome. I wish I would have filmed it, but I didn't film it. I was planning on bringing the Warhammer back with me, but TSA said, no, you can't have hammers on the airplane. And I wasn't gonna pay $100 to check my bag and I hope that my editing laptop and work laptop actually made it back. I just don't check or trust the whole checking the bag thing. I don't do it. But anyways, it was awesome being out there and doing that. I had a blast being able to actually do things the way that they do things versus the way that I'm used to doing it. Now, before I get into that, I do want to mention one thing. I have a 15% off discount on my website, theriversexperience.com, off all the blades and the PDFs, 15% off. That is absolutely awesome. It's a big discount whenever you sell things that cost a little bit more. You actually get a lot of money off of them. So go check it out, theriversexperience.com. I have a bunch of EDCs. I've got chef's knives. I've got choppers. I've got all kinds of things on there. Check it out, go scoop you something up. Now, with that being said, this experience was really, really awesome because I kind of got to take a step back from where I'm normally teaching. And if I'm teaching somebody how to forge, I'm trying to show them planishing and all of these things and they're using the hammer and I'm trying to show them how I actually do things. With this experience, it's a little bit different because you have people that are ages from five years old to 50, 60, 70 years old and you're trying to get them to be able to do some of the stuff. So I'm gonna show a clip right here. This has someone swinging with two hands which you don't typically see in a shop. You don't see someone swinging with two hands. Now, if you do, they're striking something. So they're using a big sledge and they're striking on the back of that and being able to help you force things out. With this, we have them holding it with two hands because, well, unlike the guys that were in that video, they might be five-year-olds trying to swing a two and a half pound rounding hammer and with one hand, it could fly out, hit somebody, and hurt somebody. So you gotta have them hold it with two hands. And your goal is to try and get them just to get it roughly to where it needs to be, and then get it to the grinders, let them grind it, clean it up, so that the customer can have a really cool knife, plus have the cool experience of forging most of it on their own with your direction, which is really, really, really cool especially for younger people who would have never had the opportunity to do something like this because not many people who are young have access to forges and anvils and hammers and tongs and all that stuff. Now the cool thing about this is there is a huge dragon involved with this which is absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to be able to experience this as a smith which will be happening later this year. I'll be filming stuff during that and doing live streams and everything when we actually start that particular process but we got to do a lot of the practicing and figuring out how they teach people and then trying to do that. One of the things that I thought was really cool about this whole event is they took the blacksmiths and had them try the grinding so that they could see what the grinders do on a daily basis. And they took the grinders and had them blacksmith so they could see what the blacksmiths do on a daily basis. So they had to kind of switch roles and do things that each other do. And I thought that, that was really, really cool because you need to be able to see as a grinder what the blacksmiths have to go through to be able to get you a product that you can grind. Plus, you really need to see as a blacksmith what you need to 
clean up so that when the grinders get it, they're not having to work to fix all of the just absolute ugliest things in the world and then make them look pretty. So being able to share those roles and, and split that up was just absolutely awesome. And I think that, that was a smart idea on their part to actually do that. Now, one of the cool things about this event is we got to see the swords that they're planning on doing moving on later this year, the hammer process, all of that stuff. So at the events, we're going to be doing swords, hammers, plus spike knives, plus wands and all kinds of different cool stuff. It was just cool to see all of those things. And I really, again, just want to thank Josh and Lauren for bringing us all there to, to just let us experience all of this and come together as a big group, really build relationships and things like that because we're gonna be working with these people for long periods of time. It's like 10 hours on Saturday, 10 hours on Sunday. It's, it's a lot of work, but it's really cool because you get a lot of experience working with a lot of different type of people. And what I'm gonna be doing is a little bit of blacksmithing, a little bit of grinding, helping out wherever needs to be helped out with. I think that that's perfect. I can do a lot of that and I'm really excited about this. Plus, I'm excited about a lot of the people that I get to go and do this event with because they are awesome people. They're super just chill to be around and I'm excited about doing the whole like experience of a Ren Fair. So I'll be wearing a kilt. I'll be wearing a period correct shirt. I'll be doing all of that stuff probably talking with an accent and just having a blast just doing the experience of it and I think that's gonna be really cool I'm excited about it and I'm really excited about working with everybody that I'm gonna be working with I really can't say that enough it's gonna be really cool again if you haven't had a chance look it up the Dragon Forge experience go check that out okay plus also remember go check out the website 15% off the riversexperience.com, 15% off of everything that's on there that is like knives and knife profile related. Guys, that's the end of this episode. If you would, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there, and I'll catch y'all next time.